Patrick did another DJ Bertu Bay review. Well, you see the festive holiday decorations and the fallen soldiers, aka winter warmers, poured down my neck already this season. And it's time for another one. And from whom do we have the another one? We have one from Blue Point Brewing Company, aka AB InBev today. That's right, out of Long Island, New York, US of A. Yay, yay. And we have their winter ale. Now, this is a vintage 2012 winter ale. This is pre AB InBev buyout. That's right. This is an amber ale in style, and it's available in the winter. Oh, you're surprised because it's called winter ale. I sell this because I forgot about the shit in my cabinet, just like some of these other ones. That's right. It clocks in at 7.0% ABV and 28 IBUs. Now, this beer is composed of pale, Vienna, crystal, and chocolate malt. Pretty straightforward. They say they're using traditional hops to give it a slight bit of bitterness. When I had this one and it was fresh, it was, well... Meh. I gave it about like a C plus to a B minus. And I was hoping maybe if I sellered it for a year, I didn't intend to sell it for two years, but that's what happens sometimes when you get a freaking beer hoard. So let's get the top popped on this, get in the glass, and tell you what's up with the Vintage 2012 Blue Point Winter Ale. Boom, nice pop on the top. Oh, it's a twist off. Even worse. I wonder how this one sellered. Lovely, obsessively collectible crown, even though I hate twist off. I can't even use this bottle for homebrew. Guys, uh, breweries. Twist off suck, but you know what? I guess it kind of fits since they've been bought out by AB InBev. Twisties are the Budweiser style, aren't they? So let's get in the glass and stop bitching. All right, pouring nice and clear, even though we've got two years on it. Let's see what kind of head we get from this bad boy. We'll pour it tall. Got plenty of room in this Poco glass here. Let's get the appearance. It's a super clear with a gigantor head, and I didn't really pour it that aggressively, um, but super clear copper amber color. Plenty of streaming bubbles coming up from the bottom. Actually, you know what? For a 7% beer at two years old, a mm, two and a half finger head really is quite impressive. In the center, we got some soap sudsy bubbles, and around the sides, it's super tight. When I swirl it, getting tons of glass lacing and some nice alcohol legs starting to form up at the top here. Look at that little evaporation of the alcohol against the inside of the glass. Anyways, you know what? Take a look, guys, there. It's a nice looking beer. It's kind of inviting. It's got those lovely amber gold colors. It's saying, hey, pour me down your neck and drink it. Maybe you'll get drunk and happy and, and like me more. I don't know. I have heard I had some girlfriends that were like that too back in the day. Anyways, um, I'm digressing. <laughs> You're not surprised. That's what I do. Anyways, let's put my nose in the glass here and tell you what's up with the aroma. Caramel. A little bit of citrus. Toffee. Maybe a bit of burnt brown sugar. And that's about it. It's not a very complex aroma at all. It smells maybe a little bit Martin-like because there's some floral hop in the background also. No alcohol aroma. Yeah, it's inviting enough. Let's dive in and see what's up with the taste department because that's really the test, isn't it? Cheers. Happy holidays. Well, when I drank this before, it was kind of meh, and it's kind of meh now. Um, there's no stale taste, no oxidation, none of that. It's it's cellared fairly well. Maybe a little, little tiny bit of that like oxidation, like cardboard taste. For the most part, it's tasting that. But let me tell you what flavors I am getting. Up front, I get some like over over toasted burnt brown sugar, maybe a little bit of like floral hop, toffee. A bit of like coffee in the background and a little bit of chocolate. It's got an earthy bitterness to the back end, which is like a like a spent coffee ground sort of earthy bitterness to it. No alcohol in the taste or the aroma, like I say. Goes down pretty smooth. The carbonation is more smooth and less aggressive than it would appear. It's got about a medium mouthfeel, a medium thin. It's nothing special. It's got some decent like kind of like coffee taste and stuff like that to it maybe and that, that earthy bitterness on the back end to, to tame out the sweetness but there's there's no like um yeast ester development really maybe a little bit of raisin but that's it it's okay but i would call this kind of beer sort of like nothing special in a glass you know it it's got an okay taste and new it's less than okay so it's as improved maybe slightly but Cellaring really didn't do anything for this beer. Some beers it does, some beers it doesn't. For the Brooklyn one, it actually improved it, as did the uh, Canine Cruiser here. But this one is just, pff, meh. 
Um, I wouldn't buy this beer again, but it is, you know, sort of a safe kind of winter ale sort of thing. And like I said, fresh, from what I can remember from my notes that I've written down, not that I remember all these things, but I do write notes on pretty much every beer that I drink because I'm a beer geek and that's how I roll. But eh, I didn't like it then. I think I gave it like a C+. Plus. I'm going to go with a, with, a, with a C plus on it still. I'm going to give it a 79. This is the one of the lowest beers I've scored recently because I've picked better. But it's an okay beer. I wouldn't drink it again. I wouldn't seek it out again. It's not offensive. If I was served it, I would accept it because, you know, that would not be inhospitable if I didn't. But it's nothing that I would seek out or drink again. So if you've had this beer, let me know what you think. I like the quid pro quo. And I really like it when you think globally, drink locally, and support the craft beer movement. Just maybe not this beer in particular. So to the next DJ Brew 2, please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And hit that like button because what's that do? That puts my happy face on. So, ah. <sighs> I'm going to finish the rest of this beer. I'm contemplating drain pouring it, but I'm going to finish it So, because, you know what, I paid, you know, hard-earned dollars for this, and we're going to let it roll, right? That's right, of course. So, to the next DJ's Brew Tube, thanks a million to each and every one of you for watching. Please, watching. Ugh, oh, God, I need more beer. For watching, please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and hit that like button. Until then, I got nothing but for you, but a bunch of love for you, not for this beer, and a big a peace out!